Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Sunday morning still. So if you were with me for the pour before, I was experimenting and trying to kind of just play with some different techniques. So I did kind of a bloom chain pull. Um, it was okay. I think I can do better. So I'm gonna try again. Same thing, exactly the same colors, um, same tile, same everything. So my base paint is the dollar store paint mixed with a little bit of ultra deep base just to give it a little bit of oomph and body because it's quite thin. And I'm just going to spread it around and then we're going to try this again. So the chain pull thing was really fun. That was my first my first attempt at chain pulls. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick this up and even it all out so that we're starting with a nice even surface. Now, in my last video, I said that maybe I should do my blooms first. But when I thought about it, I shouldn't do blooms first because then I'm going to have to try to work my foliage around my blooms. So we're going to start exactly the same way. We're going to do our chain pulls first. We're not necessarily going to do pretty bloomy type flower colors. That was my first try. Now we're going to step outside the box, I think. Oh, for drama, 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 drama on a Sunday morning, guys. Okay. So, what are we going to do here? I say that, and I'm not really ready to do anything. I'd like to have a kind of a bigger, bolder green. I just don't have a bigger, bolder green right now made up. Okay. Here we go. My little piece of chain. So let's use the mystery green, which was just kind of a combination of clean the paints and everything got put into the same, same vessel. So these are actually mixed up for blooms. So they contain my normal pouring medium. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's break that off a tiny bit. All right, let's see if I can get something like a big wide all right there's our first petal you guys that's pretty pretty the pretty pretty just the way it is actually with that simple Now, of course, now I'm thinking. Thinking's never good. All right, well, we need variation in color. That's for sure. Okay, same green. This is my second attempt at a chain pull, you guys. First one was two minutes ago. Oh, I broke my chain. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's get... I really want more contrast. And I'm kind of scared to go black, but... I'm not exactly conventional, and you all know that. So... We are going to add a little bit of black just for fun. I know foliage is not supposed to be black, but here's what we're going to do. I don't even know if you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to add a dab of the black there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this Atelier Green gold onto my 
Fluid Art Pouring Mat. And we're going to get whatever color this is. And I did the wrong end of my chain. One end of my chain has um, like a clasp, a necklace clasp on it. And I think I put the wrong end in. All right, here we go. How's that for drama, you guys? Okay, I'm going to use the same puddle. Oh, I'm going to wipe it off better. And we're going to do... All right, there's our foliage, you guys, such as it is, green and black foliage. I'm allowed to have whatever color foliage I want. So I think this time we, or me, I'm going to thin my paints out a tiny bit. Because last time they were pretty thick. And we're going to try this again. And I'm going to try, maybe not to put quite so much paint on and I don't really know where to do my bloom because I really like that little section. Okay, um, oh goodness, you guys. Well, I have to wreck something, so I guess it's going to be that. Okay, raw umber. Do. So this is, this is the same kind of a pale green color. I made it when I was mixing paints up to do my foliage. I kind of really wanted a softer green in there as well. And then I ended up not using it. So this is uh, white with a tiny bit of the mystery green color. And then on top of that, we're going to do Atelier red violet and white cell mix and I'm gonna stop for 30 seconds to blow my runny nose I'll be right back all right I'm back so I'm gonna blow this out you guys are gonna see my head same as last pour but there's not much I can do about it. All right, guys, here we go. Little, just a little puddle like that. That's as much as I'm gonna blow that out for now. Okay, there's one. Are we gonna put our next one? Umber, all those little spots, those don't count. So we're going to add a bit of yellow. And I'm going to do black cell mix. Okay, here we go. So... 
I don't like this. I don't like it at all. All right, so before I get too carried away, we're going to add to that. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. And we're going to add black cell mix on top of the yellow. We're going to blow this out again. This is all experimental, you guys. So let's catch up these little splatters. And then I'm going to try to do something with that. I'm actually gonna blow these out a little bit more <clears throat> directionally. So I'm gonna try to kind of blow out some petals. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm gonna start here and like blow this way. Can I do it? Okay, let's try. I don't want to wreck this one, so I think I'm going to leave that like that. All right, <clears throat> let's, let's bring this in a little bit, make it look more like a flower. So we're just going to use our kebab stick or even a toothpick because this is pretty delicate. I'm not totally thrilled with this. What are we going to do with that piece, you guys? It is organic, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I like this little delicate petals on this one, for sure. And if we wanted to, I mentioned this in the last video. You could really, really easily go crazy and make these into orchids with all kinds of little curly cues, but I'm not going to for this piece. I'm actually going to stop right here. I'm going to bring you guys down because I know if I do anything more to it, I'm probably going to rack it. And it's quite pretty, I think, just the way it is. Something. Something has to happen in there, though. Let's... When I say I'm not going to do it, and I am going to do it. All right, let's go. All right, that looks better. I wish I could change my camera so that you can see where I'm blowing and what direction I'm blowing because I'm actually trying to sort of sculpt these petals with my with my blow. All right so I think that's pretty. Um, it's very delicate and very soft and I'm okay with that. So my second chain pull you guys. Second chain pull. I would like to have a little bit more color in the centers. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking out loud, you guys. How would I go about doing that? 
Let's just pink, plain pink paint on the table. Now that's too bright. Okay, I'm gonna leave that as is. And if I want to later when this piece is dry, it would be super easy just to go in and add a little bit of definition into the centers of the flowers. But for this second attempt at this technique, I'm pretty happy with the results, you guys. All right, I'm gonna shut you off, put you on hold. I'm gonna bring you down for a look. Hang on, guys. All right, we're back. So my lighting is really, really poor, and I have my camera set up so that it locks in focus and it also locks in light. So it's a little bit darker looking now, as you can see, because I turned that off. But here it is. Look at these pretty little details, you guys. So the center of that flower, the second flower, that's the one I would like to add a little more detail to once dry. But for now, I'm gonna call this mission accomplished. All right, my friends, thank you so much for experimenting with me in the kitchen. This is number two of this technique, and I'll probably keep going. I might get stuck on this for a little while because I can see that I could probably do all kinds of fun things with it. All right, guys, poor happy, stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon, guys. Bye.